In an effort to automatically calculate what is the current size of the player so we can get rid of this size offset, we need to get access to the sprite bounds. Okay, we need to get access to its size in Unity's world units and divide it by 2 to get to this number. So to do this in Mono, we're going to do a quick test. We're going to type here debug.log and between parentheses we're going to type get component and instead of uh, trying to get the rigid body component, we're simply going to get the sprite render component. Okay, so we get component, we type it like this, then we're going to type dot. There are going to be lots of available uh, options here in the sprite render, okay, as we have all of these properties available, but we want to read the sprite. We want to get this information here. So we type dot sprite, and now that we are in the sprite, if we type dot again, there are more information that we can get. But remember, we're looking at a file here. We're looking at an external file. What Everything that we want here is to just read the bounds information. You can see here that it says bounds of the sprite specified by its center and extends in world space units. So that division by 100 that I talked about to you before is going to be automatically done for us. So we type sprite.bounds. Whenever we talk about bounds, we have two important information. We have center and we have size. Of course, we want the size one. And the size is going to be a vector 3 that has a horizontal component, a vertical one, and a depth one. We just want to get the width of the sprite. So size.x. If we save this and go to Unity and wait for the code to compile, if we press play, we should see 1.27 here because that's 127 pixels uh, divided by 100. Once you do it, that's what we have, 1.27. Okay. Now that we have this, we're going to get this entire uh, piece of code. I'm going to cut this from here. And here, we're going to get rid of the size offset. Okay. And instead of just naming this size offset, I'm going to name this float and then sprite width. Okay and that is going to be this, the size x. Okay, And here, where we had this, the, the old size offset variable, I'm going to type sprite width divided by 2. So we're going to save this, we're going to Unity, wait for the code to be ready. Okay, We no longer have the size offset property here. We're just going to hit the play button. I'm going to change this to 16 by 9. Okay, I'm going to use the, the keyboard to move the player here and notice that it properly fits. Now, the good thing about doing this, about making sure, uh, as m calculate as much things as you can, is that you can now change the spacecraft sprite and you don't have to change anything else. Okay, So this one is 127, but if we want, if you use this one, okay, it's 211. This one is much larger than the one we had before. Okay. Uh, I'm going to press play here. Okay, remember this is 80 pixels larger than the previous ship, and yet it's going to calculate the bounds. So, again, if you work with mobile development, if you want to make sure your game is going to work on multiple screens, make sure you calculate as much things as you can to make sure this is going to be compatible on different screens and there are not going to be any nasty surprises for you. Okay, so at this point, I'm just going to move back to my my preferred ship, which is this one, okay, a little bit shorter. And now that we did this, we're going to save this, okay, make sure you save your project, save your scene, and let's move on to the next lesson.